Welcome back to my Nairobi travel vlog. Here's a quick peek at what happened last time. I recently got back from a trip to Nairobi, Kenya to celebrate the end of programming for the YouTube Black Voices Fund. It's happening for real, y'all. All right, I got the suitcase. The fact that I'm being recognized by YouTube 10 years to the month after creating my very first channel is definitely a full circle moment. So I just made it to Nairobi. A couple of things kind of stressed me out today. The connecting flights ended up working out, so that ended up being great. But they lost my luggage. Surprise, surprise. I was actually anticipating that to happen. I literally was on the phone with my parents like during one of my like layovers. And I was like, I bet you they're gonna lose my luggage because I really wanted to take my luggage as like a carry-on. That's why I bought a carry-on bag. But the guy, when I first checked in, made me check my bag. I guess he said it was too large, but whatever. Anyways, so now my luggage is not here and I don't have outfits, <laughs> but we'll get that situated. Anyways, let's do a broom tour in the meantime. Alrighty, so here's the front door. Excuse the echo. And here is the room. First of all, this is like a really good size. I feel like, especially for just, you know, me. YouTube brought me some goodies. I have a welcome gift, which I'm super excited about. So we have this super cool bomber jacket which i'll try that on i'll show you guys we have some snacks over here that's fire something else is in there as well i have to open that up we have to do an, un an unboxing we have this youtube but i guess it's kind of like a messenger bag a little bit then we also just have some welcoming information so yeah that's this side of the room and then over here is the bathroom so that's the mirror that's the sink this is the shower, this is a big shower. And then over here is like the toilet. I like when the toilet is separated off from the rest of the bathroom. I wish America would like do that more, which they are, they are doing that, but yes. But anyways, let's go ahead and actually open up the goodies that YouTube sent. Let's see what they, what they gave us. All right, let's do this angle on the floor. So here we have the YouTube bla um, bl blag bag. First things first. Oh, they actually bought us one of these like adapter things, but that's perfect. We have, oh my God. Y'all, this is like, for real, it's like a mini gimbal. Oh my God, and it has like the YouTube logo on it. Wait, I'm like actually gonna use this. Not that I'm like not gonna use the other stuff, but <laughs> this is gonna go way beyond just the event. Okay, I need to figure out how to work this. Alrighty, um, what's next? We have a wireless microphone. Oh, is this for, can you use this for um, your phone? You can, oh my God, you guys, I was actually gonna buy one of these off of like Amazon, but the fact that they just gave us one, um, hello, cause for shooting short form content, like that's gonna come in super clutch. What else? And we have, we have two of them. So we have two of the wireless mics. Oh my God, that's, okay, that's wild. I think that's it. Let's check the front pouch just to make sure. Oh my goodness, there's more stuff. There's cables. We have cables on cables. Wait, what is this? Safari Com. Is this the portable Wi-Fi? I do. I am in the group chat. Like though they they have a WhatsApp group for basically all the YouTube Black members um, of this year's class or everybody who's on this trip right now. Um, and somebody did say something about mobile Wi-Fi. That's what this says right here. There we go. I don't know why this is not focusing. But yeah, this is a portable Wi-Fi, which I've never, literally never heard of before, but that's gonna be really cool to test out, basically. What is this? Oh, this is a ring light. Oh, there we go. I just had to hold it down. But yes, there's the ring light. But this is cool. This is for like the phone, the mobile accessories. Okay, so that's what's in this bag. All right, I got everything. Okay, that's crazy. Um, thank you, YouTube. All right, now let's actually try on the bomber jacket. Okay, so we got the YouTube logo on the front. And what does the back say? Wait, oh, I can't see it. Let me look in the mirror. That is so cool. It says creators. I'm a fan of this, you guys. This is such a cool jacket. Oh my goodness. The 2022 creators also got bomber jackets. Um, Black Boys is Fun members. So yes. That is fire. I'm just gonna keep this on. And then we also have a bucket full of like snacks. Well, not a bucket, but like a box full of snacks. There's also a water bottle in here, a reusable water bottle. Oh my goodness, thank you again, YouTube. I'm probably gonna wear this jacket today because I don't have clothes. I'm also gonna take a shower as well. So I'm glad I have my toiletries with me. That's the haul. 
I missed out on two of the activities earlier in the day, the welcoming brunch being one of them, but the thing about going on a trip with a bunch of content creators is that other people have footage. So here's some other clips that other people took from the brunch. There were percussionists, it was beautiful scenery, a, like a cool YouTube arch, people dancing. It seemed like a vibe, okay? That's like the best way I can explain it. <laughs> After that, they went to go meet the president of Kenya, just casually. Um, of course, I was on a plane then, but that is something that happened. I'll be sure to insert some pictures uh, here. The president actually tweeted about it. But the one activity I was able to do as I arrived was attend the opening mixer and dinner. The mixer was a vibe. There were cocktails, mocktails, and I got to meet the wonderful creator class in real life. Two of the people that I actually hung out with was Bria Jones, if you guys are familiar with her, as well as As Told by Kenya. I got to meet and hang out with them, as well as some other amazing creators. Everybody was phenomenal. The dinner venue was also beautiful itself. They had a live band playing. They had YouTube black branding in the pool area. And we all just got to continue our conversations and watch live entertainment play some games, and enjoy African food. I had a really great time, so I'm glad I arrived in Nairobi at the time that I did. All right, good morning, everybody. It's another day, still no luggage. I actually had a really great time last night. I was hanging out with Bria in Kenya. I met some really cool creators, and it was pretty much just a day of like socializing and dinner, and it was really fun. I really enjoyed myself. So I am kind of glad that I took that connecting flight on the different airline just to get here, you know, at the time that I did. I missed, earlier they wanted to go see the president of Kenya. I missed that, um, just subtle flex, but I'll see the footage or I'll see the pictures afterwards. Right now, so honestly, I missed breakfast. Breakfast ends like right now. I could go down and see if they're, they're still serving it, you know? Um, but I think I'll just snack on stuff in the hotel room. I have so many snacks with me. And I kind of want to check out the Crater Hub and then also just meet up with some people before the rest of the programming today. So yes, my luggage is still not here. They said they would deliver it this morning. Um, and if they don't, if that doesn't happen, I'm going to get clothes later today. So that is the game plan. This is the Crater Hub. They had filming rooms, a buffet area to eat, a bunch of cool installations and backdrops for taking pictures and creating content. Alrighty, so we're about to head to, this is called Crater Day, right? Yes. So I think it's gonna be like a panel and some other things happening. So I'm excited. You guys wanna say something? Hi, I'm Bria, and I hope Mackenzie gets her clothes. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, the, the lost luggage has been a struggle. <laughs> Crater Day featured speakers, games, video recaps, and more to leave us feeling inspired to keep creating. I also had a couple of cool channel cameos, so I'll be sure to insert those here. And I'm here in a place I could have never imagined possible. <laughs> wrapped up, but I had one more thing to do since the Crater Celebration party was happening that night. Alrighty, so I'm with Kenya. Hi guys. <laughs> yes, uh, luggage is still lost. Apparently it's still in Paris, so we love that. Um, but yes, I need to go find some like new clothes. So we're shopping right now. So we'll see what we can find. So I literally forgot to film any of the shopping that day, but this is the outfit I ended up buying. I have a little picture that I took from the fitting room. Just imagine the dress with black and gold sandals and rose gold drop earrings to match. That was the look. It's now time for the Crater Celebration, which was basically just a party, drinks, food, loud music, lights, cool installations, live performances, all that jazz. They took us to the venue in a party bus, which was stimulation overload, not gonna lie. And if I'm being honest, parties aren't really like my thing, loud music, dancing, those situations usually trigger anxiety attacks for me. Fortunately, I did not have an anxiety attack at this function. I was overstimulated for sure, but I didn't feel like I was dying, which is definitely progress 
for me at least. But even though parties aren't my thing, something I do wanna point out is how cool the venue was. There was a really cool YouTube mural with all of the creators' YouTube handles on it. I didn't end up getting a full picture of it, so I'll look through Instagram and grab some photos to show you guys, you know, the full thing. Um, but I found my handle and it was super cool to see my name as part of like the greater picture of YouTube, if you will. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, June 14th, I believe. Um, it is currently about to be at five o'clock in the morning. I'm about to head downstairs. We're going on the game drive, which is basically like the safari. Um, and I'm really excited to see the animals today. It is safari time. We got in the vehicle and we're off to Nairobi National Park. The first animals were, we were greeted by at the entrance were baboons and everybody immediately got their cameras out to start filming. You can kind of see them in the distance here. But we saw an array of different wildlife from giraffes to ostriches, rhinos, lions, and more. So enjoy this safari montage. Okay, you guys, so we got back from the uh, game drive or like the safari. This is O'Neill. Hi! Do you want to talk about like, you know, what, what is your channel first of all? Cool, so it's O'Neill Gerald is my name and Reclaim Your Voice is the name of the channel, but all of this there in the channel name. Um, I am a vocal coach, so I break down singers, you know, I tell you what fun things they're doing and how they do them and how it affects the music. And I also encourage you in your own vocal life. So yeah, yes, that's, a, that's exactly. a lot of what I do. All the artistic things. Yeah, all the artistic things. <laughs> I did watch your breakdown of um, Lizzo's About Damn Time. Oh. I did watch that. That was really interesting. Wow, that was a while ago. Yeah. Like, watch it. I love that. I was, a little, I was like stalking everybody. I feel like a little bit before coming on this trip. I think I was too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think about the animals? Like, did you have a favorite? Honestly, <laughs> sorry, this was a little gross. This is a little TMI. Uh -huh. But like the right, there was a rhino. That was, oh yeah. And it was <laughs> peeing. And it was like this waterfall <laughs> came out of it. I was like, this is, nature it is, is a wild. lot. The, nature is absolutely <laughs> wild. But like, I, Did you see the rhino poop too? No, I didn't see that. I heard oh about God, that. It yes. just kept coming. And it was like <laughs> steaming too. It was like, <laughs> what is this? Alrighty, so I'm waiting on lunch right now or brunch, but I'm here with... Mr. Rightway, what's up everybody? Yes, tell us about what your channel is about. So I do a lot of video game honey. Right now, what they consist of is I go out and try to find games the cheap way, the right way, and the best price. So if you want to buy a lot of good video games, like go to Goodwill, find some cheap games, keep what you like, and then sell the rest, and then buy the great game that you want. I love video games. I don't play them on the channel. I just teach collector. I'm more collector type focus, more lifestyle video games. Yeah, so if any of you guys are interested, be sure to you know check out his channel. Yep. But yeah, what are you excited about today? Like, what activities? Making content. Making content, okay, that's fair. I hope I can find a kid in the video game store. I hope, hope. All right, let's go eat. Once brunch was over, we had the ability to participate in another optional activity, so I decided to go on the Nairobi city tour, and we ended up climbing the tallest building in Nairobi. Here is the amazing view from up there. Okay. 
as I end this vlog, I want to take a moment to reflect on why this trip was significant. First, I have to note the location. Being in Africa was incredible because as a Black American, first and foremost, particularly if you have family history tied to the transatlantic slave trade, our identity is pretty complicated. As a Black American, I'm left with this complexion that's a reminder of our treacherous history coming to the Americas, but with no real deep connection to either Africa or America. Chattel slavery did not just dehumanize people, it corrupted community, it separated families and tribes. It erased the knowledge of who you are a part of just because you are. That's why I think it's so important to be Black and proud because history books, history teachers, and society at large often teaches us a very limited perspective about blackness and they often begin telling this history where freedom ends. So I think it's such an important reminder um, to tell ourselves in our community that being black is a blessing and it stretches far beyond the Americas. Being in Africa, being at the origin where life began, even just for a few days, was super empowering. This trip also forced me to be more public about the fact that I am a content creator. I never talk about content creation in real life really, but this trip forced me to talk about my channel more and to just be more bold about it. I think I don't really share my channel because I don't really think other people are gonna get it, but something that I have to continuously remind myself of is that I don't share for other people to get it. And also by showing up in real life, by talking about what I do and what I create online, it helps to destigmatize the preconceived notions that people have about gaming creators and that people have about YouTube in general and like the content creation space as a whole. You dismantle stereotypes by showing up authentically, by being yourself, and other people really need to see that. It's so powerful for people to see the proof of something that is seldom discussed in society. It's so important that people can see the proof that black women exist in this space, as well as the fact that gaming content does not look one type of way. The gaming audience is not just one type of person. I think it's easier for me to stay like in my bubble because I follow a lot of diverse creators in the gaming space and on YouTube. I follow a lot of different types of content on YouTube as well, but but other people may not see, I guess, the diversity in the gaming space. Other people may not see kind of what I see because I've just, I've done the work to kind of decolonize my feed. <laughs> but other people need to see the proof of what I try to represent with the channel. People need to see more black women in this space. People need to see that gaming content doesn't look a certain type of way. People need to see more casual gamers. And so all of that is really important in the mission of my channel, but also with how I show up in real life. And so that's another thing I feel like I really took away from this trip. And last but not least, this trip to Kenya also opened up my eyes to what I'm capable of. If there's one thing I've learned about young adulthood, it's that things change fast and all the time. I'm in a place that is honestly demanding me to be a little bit bolder to step into what's next, but what's next is pretty scary to me if I'm being honest. I don't always feel capable of stepping into what's next. Um, it's almost like being too big for where I am, but too small for where I'm going. But I think this trip where I had to navigate situations I've never been in before was a first step in revealing the courage and capability I really do have that will transcend into other areas of my life. I didn't think I could fly halfway around the world by myself, but I did. So who's to say what else I can't do and who's to say what other territory I can't reach? So I think that was another important kind of takeaway from this trip as well. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and let me know what you think in a comment down below. What do you think was the coolest part of the trip? What was your favorite part of the video? Yeah, I can't believe that I went to Kenya in a trip sponsored by YouTube literally 10 years to the month from the time I started my very first YouTube channel. I could have never imagined that this would come full circle like it did. I could have never imagined in however many years that this would be happening and that I would have this opportunity just in general. So thank you, YouTube. Thank you to the team. Um, thank you to the partner managers. They were incredible uh, for advocating for us throughout this trip online and offline. This is definitely an experience I will never forget. So thank you all for watching. My name is Asmara and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.